to the next webcast of Coherence Virtual Open House. We are here on the production floor with some background noise. And my name is Thomas Schreiner and I'm the product line manager for the Exact Cut, Exact Weld and MPS series. And today we want to present you the Exact Cut 430. The Exact Cut 430 meets the laser class one regulations and it's designed to the latest economical um, rules. So at the front, we have a pneumatic lifting jaw. So, and here we have the uh, operator terminal. It comes with a 17 inch touch monitor and we have a second monitor for uh, camera um, implementation on that system here. We also have a handheld terminal for setup mode and also as an override functionality. We have a pneumatic lifting door with a laser class one uh, glass in the front for the operator. In the system, it comes along with a granite setup. So we have a motion system. It's a X set and Y axis here. And for the safety, we have at the door a safety bump for this, uh, to secure the operator. All the relevant connections, what you need for that system, you can find it on the back. So for exhaust, power supply, pneum uh, pneumatic, or also process gas. Now we welcome our colleague uh, Chris Janker. He's an uh, application guy and he's very experienced on the exact Cut 430 system. And Chris, maybe you can uh, say us some advantages of that laser source. Yeah, so uh, in this machine we have integrated the Starfiber 150P. Uh, so this laser source is really easy to integrate. Uh, it uh, has a really small footprint uh, and is a air-cooled system, so it's uh, standalone and don't need uh, expensive water cooling, for example. And uh, from the application side, uh, it's uh, a very good source because we have the single mode fiber. Uh -huh. So we can achieve really small spot sizes uh, to get the smallest contours, uh, the smallest features uh, from the customer drawings. And um, also we have a high parameter range uh, for small micro applications uh, up to macro applications where we need the full power of 150 watt average, uh, which means uh, 1.5 kilowatts in peak power. Okay. So I guess this is the right laser source for very uh, tiny cuts or tiny parts. Is it, is it so? Yeah, that's right. Uh, because of the small spot size uh, we can achieve, uh, we get uh, really small uh, radii and uh, really small uh, cutting paths. So, um, yeah, every corner is a sharp corner. <laughs> okay, right. So, and you also uh, give us the hint at the creation of the system that we should uh, use with that laser this special cutting head. This is uh, the one from our company, a Swiss company. Uh, can you explain something about this one? Yeah, so uh, this uh, cutting head uh, is, has a real high uh, build level and is uh, really good adjustable. So we can um, uh, make sure that the beam that comes through the fiber, uh, through the fiber into the optics uh, really goes through the middle and uh, we achieve the beam quality um, under the nozzle on our workpiece uh, we want to have. So. Wow. Okay, so uh, we talked before about our options, what we are provide with that system here. So we have, what we see here is now a larger cutting box. How can you guarantee that the cutting will be very perfect on each uh, position of the cutting box here with tiny materials? Yeah, so the uh, cutting box and uh, also the table uh, is uh, calibrated to, to the access system. So um, we have a very high uh, build level here. So we make sure that uh, each uh, height uh, is the same over the whole plane. Uh, and if uh, that's not enough, because, because we have uh, some wavy material, mm -hmm. uh, we have the second option for cutting head uh, with the distance controls. Uh, so we can measure uh, the distance between the nozzle and the material and uh, always keep in focus. Ah, okay, and this guarantees uh, excellent cuts on each position of the cutting box, right? That's right. Okay, thank you, Chris. This was all the uh, hardware what we have here on the system, and now let's have a look at the operation of that one. Um, Chris, can you please give us a short overview about the operation of that system? Yeah, so the software of the machine is designed to be very intuitive. So here we have, for example, the operator screen, uh, where an operator uh, can execute different uh, programs that are um, set it up by an advanced user. So the operator can produce parts uh, without damaging every, uh, anything or uh, without changing la the laser parameters. Uh, so this screen is for production. 
Uh, so the operator really is uh, choosing a job, pressing start, and the system is going by itself. Mm -hmm. um, and for the advanced user, we have a different uh, overview uh, where the advanced user can set up the G-code, uh, the laser parameters, uh, have access to all the machine uh, configuration and parameters uh, to set up a program and uh, that the operator can produce parts uh, safe and with the best quality uh, to achieve the best quality on the production parts. Okay, so when you're talking about advanced users, it's like you, I think, so, and for me it's more the operator mode, is it right? Yes, yeah, so uh, the operator can be trained by uh, the advanced user of uh, our customers and the uh, advanced user would be trained uh, by us uh, from our training center or from our application side. Okay, so you mentioned you have uh, different operation levels. So you say that you mentioned the operator, the advanced user. Are there more of this? Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, so we have uh, also some maintenance level and service level uh, where we can go very deep into the uh, machine configuration. Uh, but also, not everyone has access to this configuration uh, just to make the machine safe. Okay. Do we have also three words uh, about creation as a G code here in that? Yeah, so we are creating the G-code uh, with uh, our program, uh, Kagila. Mm -hmm. So we can uh, load DXF files, DVG files, and so on, uh, and creating a G-code of it uh, that is um, set up for our machine. So our machine can read uh, the G-code very easy, and um, yeah, everything is working without going too deep uh, into the program. Uh, program. So. Uh, everyone can create a G-code for the machine. Okay, so when you mentioned Kagla, this is a kind of post-processing, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, good. Thank you very much, Chris. I think now it's time for a live application. What part do you have prepared for us today? Today we are cutting our standard sample. Uh, we created the contour to show the uh, accuracy of the access system and also the advantages of the laser source so that the customer uh, can see that we have a small heat effect and uh, also the small, uh, very small tolerances on the contour and also on the fine parts of the contour. Okay, sounds good. Uh, let's start, oh? Let's start. Okay, let's have a look. So Chris, explain this. What are the special features on that part here? Yeah, so uh, here we cut it uh, very small features and bigger features um, just to show that we can achieve uh, very small holes, uh, very small drills, for example, and also bigger macro contours uh, with the same uh, optics configuration and the same laser source. Mm -hmm. Uh, also, we uh, show some contours, uh, for example, for bearings, uh, for watch industry, um, and also uh, one thing we can show on this sample uh, is our ramping feature on the laser source uh, where we can uh, ramp the frequency to the X movement, uh, to the velocity of the axis uh, okay. so that we achieve uh, the same cutting quality on every uh, situation of contour and uh, on every corner so we, that we don't get burr anywhere or um, yeah, so we achieve the perfect quality of cut uh, on every part and also a very small heat effect also in the uh, corners of the contour. Okay, that sounds very impressive. Thank you very much, Chris. You're welcome. So, there's one thing missing now. So one interesting thing is what kind of materials can I cut with that system? Yeah, so with that system, we can uh, cut nearly every metal uh, from, for example, uh, copper or brass from uh, electronic industries or watch industries uh, over stainless steel, steel up to uh, titanium for precise medical applications. Okay, so it's the right choice from uh, when I'm a shop shopper or an electronic device or a watch manufacturer, right? Yeah, so it's uh, for drop shoppers, for watch industries, for nearly every industry, you can tell. Okay, thank you very much, Chris. So thank you very much for attending the virtual open house webcast today and see you next time.